This is Meredith Flashpoint Geckos back with you with another gecko unboxing. This box comes from Altitude Exotics. He's one of my favorite people to purchase from. And he's a really nice guy. Oh my goodness. Did, did he? Oh my goodness. <laughs> he sent me a bonus gecko. Okay. So here is a female that I got. Really cool, drippy female. She's really pretty in person. I love her white walls. All right. We got a little bit of a drippy red female here, nice and creamy. Don't get your feet caught, girly. There. Please excuse if their deli cups are dirty. They uh, they like to do that when they ship. Here's another one. Let's get her out. She's oh, she's a tank. Look at this tank. Can you see her? Oh my goodness. She is fat and chunky and holy cow. She's a monster head on her. Look at that. All right, girlfriend. Kaija. You're Kaija. Pretty sure you're Kaija. You got fat. Whew. Come on. Tuck back in. I'm going to hold off on the bonus gecko until I get through some of these other geckos that I have to show off. I know, I know. You're a big gecko in a small deli cup. We'll get you settled into your new tank. All right, here's another girl. I named her Iris. She also has very nice structure. This is this one's Iris. Maybe it's not Iris. Just very nice looking quad stripe there. I'm very pleased with these animals. I'm always very pleased with the animals that I get from Brian Butler at Altitude Exotics. Can you not? <laughs> I know, sweetheart. I know, we'll get you out again. I can't wrangle you and all the other geckos that I have to show off. I'm sorry. I'll show off the tank here in a second. Let's see what we got. Here, nice little lavender thing, little lavender pinstripe. Got a bunch of babies in here. Ooh, this is a good looking one. Hoo wee! Oh, come on, open deli cup. What a funky looking gecko! How awesome is that? There's a little Halloweeny gecko. I have a nice little Halloweeny group that's developing. So I like getting those orangey harlequins. Oh, we've got a circus act right here. This is a gargoyle gecko. Nice little striped garg. Very cute. Isn't it cute? Cute as a button. All y'all pooped in your deli cups. Thanks a lot. Another nice little Halloweeny thing. I'm so bad at filming, aren't I? <laughs> I love the pattern on this one. Hey guys, so my video got cut off um, due to memory issues, I believe, space issues. Um, so we finished off with this one on the video. Um, here's an adult female that I got. Another adult female, I got six, or I ended up getting seven in total adult females. Um, this one right here, very cool white spots, very cool harlequin. I really love the fringing on the head. Could have spikier crests, but her pattern is really awesome. Love her. Um, this one's a really nice little sort of 
funky color, like dark gray quad stripe. Again, I'm not going to say lavender because lavender is really overused in the hobby. Um, and it's not always accurate, but she's just a light gray based thing. Quad stripe, like a base color is really funky and hard to tell. Um, we have this right here. An extreme harlequin, a very orange pattern. Um, it's not firing up very dark right now, which is kind of neat. We've got this dark. I think I got it as a possible red, but it's showing up dark right here. But that's okay, because look at that dorsum. Look at those pinstripes. Look at that lateral. Let me turn this around here. I mean, just look at that. I'm shaking a little bit. I'm in a hurry. Um, We've got this dark base, empty pinstripe. I've got a um, empty back. Come on, focus camera. Sorry. Got an empty back um, project. On camera is really sucking right now. There it goes. Uh, really cool little white on white fringing on there. Um, got this is a extreme harlequin looking thing sort of extreme harlequin sort of between a harlequin and extreme harlequin it's got the pattern all the way up but it's not really fully covered it's very cool i really like the dorso on that it's nice tigery striped um this is another red with some white walls it's gonna be nice and creamy can't wait to see how it finishes developing. You can see the cream is stretching up into the head and will probably finish out uh, creaming out. Um, this right here is a, has some laterals on it that has really cool lateral on there. Sometimes when it stretches out in some of the pictures, it looks like a check mark. So I called it checkmate. I just, I don't know, something about this gecko really spoke to me. I very much liked it. Um, Here's another red. I have a lot of reds uh, in my collection. Uh, I will be producing a lot of reds, I hope. And you can see that richness of color through that there. I'm not gonna open these up and show these off again. I don't have the time right this second. I have to get these guys settled in. Um, this right here, another red. Has some nice little Dalmatian spots right there. And I think this, uh, I need to look up which one this is, but I wonder if this is the infinity here. So it might end up a really nice neon yellow. And this gecko was a gecko, as you can see, he wrote bonus tank on it. <laughs> uh, this gecko I admired on the website. I mentioned it to um, Brian, the owner of Altitude Exotics, and I ended up not purchasing her, but apparently he sent her anyway. <laughs> so I can't be too upset about that. Um, just a note, none of these geckos are staying in these tubs. These deli cups, they are going to be moved to appropriate size containers very, very soon. Um, you can see there's some agitation right here and some of the other geckos. This one is showing some signs of agitation. She is too. Um, this is how you ship a gecko. You package it with a nice box. You make sure they're well um, secured in there. This helped secure, sorry, this helped secure one of the corners so they could stack up nicely. There was a foam top there. Um, these geckos do not live in these containers. They do not. This is how we ship them safely. It is 100% humane and is the most safe way to ship these animals. If you have a larger container, if you ship them in a tank or in like a critter keeper even, they can get shook around really easy. Um, but in here they have walls they can grab onto and brace against. The females can brace against here. The smaller babies have paper towels they can grip onto. Um, and this keeps them feeling secure and this keeps them actually physically safe during shipping. Um, I do also recommend um, Altitude Exotics very highly. I'm very pleased with all these animals. I'm very excited about this girl. I have a cool male to put her with. Uh, he's like purple base red and she's sort of like a lighter red, sort of a pinkish, not really a, maybe a true pink, but sort of a lighter, doesn't fire up that dark. But um, I'm very happy with these animals. Um, Brian Butler, the owner, is a wonderful guy to work with. Uh, he's pretty smart. He's got some great stuff. I highly recommend shopping his auctions. You'll, you will get the absolute best deals there. Uh, 
most of these animals in here were all auction animals and I got it at a good price. Um, these animals I bought at different prices, but a couple of them were abandoned auctions actually, so she was about like 150 or something like that. Um, so you can get some really good deals on animals through Brian Butler. And as you can see, I have some really standout animals in this shipment. Uh, thanks for watching guys. Sorry about this uh, change in uh, cinematography, videography. <laughs> um, something went wrong with my iPad over there. And uh, thanks for watching. Keep an eye out on Flashpoint Geckos. We are on Instagram at Flashpoint underscore Geckos. Um, and on Facebook, Flashpoint Geckos. We should be the only one on there. Um, we will be back with more offspring next season. Uh, thanks so much for watching.